Hello everyone, you're here with Nick from thegameraxis.com. We're at the Fulton Innovation Booth at CES 2012. I'm with engineer Ben here. He's going to tell us a little bit about what he's showing off at CES today. Yeah, so what we're showcasing in our booth today is all about wireless power. And our technology has an added intelligence built into each one of our products. What we're showcasing here is the kitchen of the future. What you can see is a frying pan that's actually communicating back to your cooking surface. So rather than just turning up the heat and watching the pan heat up, this frying pan is actually communicating back and forth to control its own temperature. So now your cook cooking can actually automate itself. You can see here as this frying pan is going to heat up, what's heating up is actually the metal in the frying pan rather than the countertop itself. So even though this frying pan is getting very warm, I can actually move this off and touch this with my bare hand or even hold this frying pan in my own hand. So we have built-in pot holders into this. You can totally seal off the electronics and actually throw this in the dishwasher. Now, this same power source can actually be used to power your other kitchen appliances as well. What we have here is a KitchenAid mixer. You can see no plugs, no cords, no batteries either. When I move it on top of that energy location, now it can power all my kitchen appliances. More convenient, more safe, more easy to use. All right, so we checked out how wireless power could work with appliances. That's going to show you something that's very interesting, especially for retail locations. You know, you might have batteries that you have on store shelves, electronics, people are constantly using them. You have batteries that die just sitting in the packaging. Now that can change, and Ben's going to tell us why. So what we can actually do with electronics now is we can actually print them directly onto products and onto their packaging materials. We have a magazine that we did in conjunction with Time Incorporated that has our technology literally printed right into this magazine. Now, because we don't have to have a battery in here, we can make this very thin, very light, just like a normal magazine. But then when we put it down on our store shelving, you can see that it's lighting up and dancing to the consumer. The same technology that we're printing onto this magazine can also be used to power your devices. We have a set of batteries here, energizer batteries that can sit on the store shelves for months, and we can maintain full charge because the energy is coming from the store shelving directly into this product packaging. And again, because we're simply printing this onto the, onto the product package, we can do this at a very, very low cost. And then as far as printing, because as you said, the magazine doesn't have a battery. Obviously, if it had a battery, it wouldn't be as near as flexible as the magazine should be. How exactly does the printing work, and what type of printers can support this? So the printers of today can support this technology. All you're doing is you're slightly changing the inks that we're using in the product packaging. So again, it can be a very low-cost method because you don't actually change how you're printing it. You're just changing the materials that you're using. Very impressive. Now we're going to move on to something where if you're working in an office, let's say you're at a meeting room, and you have a laptop, cell phone, you may be late in the day, your devices may be dying. Not anymore. What we have here is our standard conference table. You can see a number of devices that are just sitting out on it. And what we can actually do is, rather than using a mat that sits on top of the conference table, and rather than drilling down into this beautiful conference table, we can actually embed our technology underneath of it. So you're literally transmitting this energy through several inches of material. And you can do it through any material that you want. So now I can take this device, simply set it down on the charging location, and now I can provide, provide it energy. I don't have to bring my charger with me to my meeting, so I can just set my devices down, and they maintain full charge. Now, is this something where devices in the future are going to have this technology integrated, or will it be something where you'll have to buy an additional accessory to work with it? Currently, there are products on the market that you can buy an accessory for because our technology is not embedded in them. But there are actually a number of cell phones on the market today that already have our technology built in. This is one example. It's an HTC Incredible 2, and our technology is actually built in to the back door of this device. So you purchase this from Verizon Wireless, and it comes ready to charge. That is very cool. Now we're going to move on to what I think is the most impressive. Come check it out. A Tesla. This is like my dream vehicle here, but uh, what are you showing off of your technology? Yeah, so this is the Tesla Roadster. It's an all-electric, high-performance sports car. And what we're showing here is we can actually charge this vehicle wirelessly. We have our technology embedded in the parking location underneath that manhole cover, and it's actually transmitting the energy up into the bottom of the vehicle. We can charge this vehicle just as fast as you would by plugging it in, and almost as efficiently as well. What's great about this is not only is it more convenient, but it's also safer because I don't have high voltage wires running through garages and, and parking structures. And some like this, I mean, obviously right now most cars are powered mainly off of gas. So is this something where rather than having to stop at a gas station, you could say, okay, my vehicle's about to die, let me just park here, maybe grab something to eat, and then charge your vehicle? Absolutely. We're hoping that these charging locations are going to be embedded in multiple different parking locations. So now if you're on a road trip, you can stop at a restaurant, grab a bite to eat, and rather than going to the gas station afterwards, your vehicle's charging while you're sitting in the restaurant. 
Very impressive. Well, I definitely appreciate your time, Ben. I'm going to go ahead and be honest. I've been at CES since day three. This technology has got me the most hyped. Very innovative. So definitely be sure to check it out. And when I get more information, I'll be sure to pass it along. Access granted.